Hello everyone, GL2 here. Did you miss me? Yeah, I've been on a bit of a sabbatical. So, uh, today, what I really want to show you is this Transformers crossover with G.I. Joe. But before we get to that, very quickly, I'm going to go through a little review. Uh, this here is the Baroness, G.I. Joe figure, and uh, she has uh, excellent articulation. She has uh, extra shoulder articulation, and she does not have the double joint in the elbow, but she does have the uh, extra angle, a little bit of a rounded joint, uh, and it also can rotate a bit sideways. And she has a uh, wrist, uh, able to turn her wrists, and she does have the double knees articulation. Uh, she came with a couple of swords, uh, and uh, I don't know where those are at the moment. Um, that's the problem with uh, having a figure with so many accessories, is you put the accessories somewhere and then uh, it's difficult to always remember where they are. She also has glasses that come off. So, you can see that. And there's fit there right under her hair. Kind of snap on there. And then they also made one of the 3.5 inch Baroness figures. And she also has excellent articulation, uh, double knees, and uh, basically all the same articulation as the large one. She has the torso joint as well, and she came with uh, weapons. Again, uh, they are not here at the moment, but what she has is a, a hook and a stand, little peg holes for her feet, and you can hook her for something from something and have her standing there. Ah, so, uh, that's the Baroness, which will be featured today uh, with our Transformers G.I. Joe crossover. And the crossover uh, vehicle they have is the Hiss Tank. Now, this is a little uh, metal micro machine Hiss Tank. It has actual wheels and it rolls and has little guns up on top. Now, in 2006, there was the Sigma 6 collection, and I have several pieces from that, but this one here is the Hiss Tank. And uh, it's obviously not the same colors, um, but let me show you some fascinating things about it. So, um, it, has, it has a missile launcher here, uh, but it's a, they come out and they can be assembled in other areas. But what they do is they have a two-stage missile launching process where there's a button here and you actually press the button once and one missile fires and you press it again and the other missile fires. So actually uh, it doesn't have two buttons. It actually has one button and you push it twice to make both missiles fire. That's something very unique. Um, the his tank itself, uh, you can, it comes with a, uh, a figure and you can put the figure in there and it also can lower and raise. And the figure that comes with this is not the Baroness figure. And uh, it has uh, wheels underneath, uh, fake treads, but wheels underneath. <clears throat> and then you have your separate missile firing tower and then you have snake eyes in there, snake eyes figure, Sigma 6 figure. But it does even more. So uh, these fold up here like this. And this comes off. Well, actually, I'll show you these even lift up first. But this also comes off here. A little difficult. And that's all right because it's easily snapped back on. And then this can open like this, and I'll show you why it does that. You have a little bit of a troop carrier here, you see? But what this does is take your launcher, put it in between here. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything falls apart here today. Hang on. Oh. And then 
that fits in here, like that. It kind of snaps to here. Not so easy. Let me get that. Ah, there we go. This is why I don't transform things here. All right. And then that will push down onto here. Now you have your familiar looking his tank. And then this has a peg joint here, or a peg place. Then you can peg that in, and then you have your his tank. It even has a wheel under here, so if this is low, it, it also rolls thusly. But what we're here really all about is this piece here. Now this, Captain Martinez, just flown in on the helicopter. Very rare so far. And I've acquired it, as I've told you, I have buyers around the world scanning things that I that might interest me. And of course this interests. Now, not usually into the unboxing thing, but this one has an interesting box. So uh, here you have a picture here of Megatron and his tank. And you pull the cardboard apart. You see it's at an angle as if it's like crossing over, like blended together. All right? Then you have another box. And now, nice collector style box. And then that opens up and voila, Inside, you have Megatron, and parts of his tank. As you can see, familiar looking pieces. You sort of recognize, you see, you have where the person will go, and you have your Megatron and your treads. And in the back, you have your exclusive Baroness figure. All right, so I'm going to take these pieces out. You know, this is quite simple to remove from the box. Sometimes I find it's quite difficult to remove toys from boxes now. I understand they don't want any pilferage, you know, anyone taking anything out, but how you get some of the figures out uh, without breaking them sometimes is a marvel to me how anyone could expect a child to do it, especially if you need scissors or knives. Um, you know, Bobby dolls, in particular, you have uh, plastic sutures, like nylon sutures in their heads uh, that attach it to the cardboard, and uh, quite difficult sometimes to remove. Uh, perhaps you would use a scissors on them, and you have to be careful not to cut the hair. So, and let me tell you, AEW wrestling figures, my god, the box, you, you remove the cardboard and then everything is sealed inside a plastic package that the only way to take anything out is to cut the plastic completely open with a razor blade to get to your figure. Now, here we have Megatron. And, all right, we have reasonable shoulder articulation. His head uh, can move in all directions. See his feet fold out here. There we are, now he can stand. Uh, he has hip rotation. He has, let's see, his knees bend. Yes, his knees bend. All right, that is good. And we have all these other pieces to put on. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stop the film. Ah, oh, that's what fell. Now we have the missile and, but I'm going to stop the film here as soon as I find my little remote, which I believe, that is what I knocked on the floor. Ah. Or, 
no matter. I'll stop it manually. So, uh, and then I will investigate how this assembles and I will show it to you in the other form. So, I'm going to stop the film now. Alright, so I'm back and I've assembled the Megatron into his Megatron his tank form. Now, um, a couple of things on how to transform this is uh, it has the feet, you know, they fold down. But once you add the his tank back on here, is a significant amount of weight going to the back. Well, it has these little fold out tank treads here to give him more balance so he won't fall over, otherwise he will. And uh, these here, they fold down uh, from an upward position previously to installing the his tank back. And then here, now you have uh, more missiles launching uh, availability and uh, then you can put his you know snap his gun into here or he can hold it in his hand but it actually holds better on his side of his hand and then this piece here becomes a shield right so now um, I removed the Baroness figure from its package uh, having to use a razor blade uh, so as not to destroy the package and then on the back uh, you have a card that you may cut out and save or you save the entire card back and here are your instructions for converting it uh, into the his tank or into the megatron form and <coughs> i will pause the video and i will convert it into the his tank after i show you one more thing and uh, we have here the Baroness, and this is very old school. This is like the old small G.I. Joes of the 1980s. Uh, you have good articulation, uh, twist, and uh, knees, but uh, something uh, that uh, kind of disappeared is you have a rubber band that holds the torso uh, to the trunk together, to the pelvis. So... Uh, kind of like the old He-Man from 1983 uh, and the old G.I. Joe's also have that rubber band so you have that kind of articulation and in about 30 or 40 years the rubber band wears out and snaps if it does not snap before then. Hopefully they've improved the materials and you can and have this uh, until uh, your life is ended and someone else begins. That would be great. So. I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to convert it to the his tank and we'll see how that looks. Well, now I've converted it into the his tank and as usual, I tried to convert it without using the instructions and I was successful. Uh, what happens is once you uh, construct many, many transformers as I have in my very, very large collection uh, that you have not seen as of yet, uh, you learn that there are certain patterns and certain things to look for and it's always fun for me to try to uh, put things together, rearrange them uh, without using the instructions. And once again, I was successful and it took me uh, probably about eight minutes. Now, <clears throat> so uh, here's the instructions and, uh, you know, they fold out like thusly. But, you know, I find it just easier to not even use the instructions uh, because I'm kind of lazy that way. So I just would rather, instead of trying to look at these small little pictures that are you know, monochrome, uh, it's easier just to put it together myself, which I did. Now, uh, I will tell you, it's pretty awesome. Um, it, uh, this turns, and then, of course, these can go up and down, and your gun can fire here. Um, it actually acts like a real toy that is not a transformer. Some of the plastics vary in weight, and uh, it has some nice, very sturdy frame pieces uh, in the interior that uh, give it a nice hearty construction. Um, it is very similar to the little tiny his tank. Uh, as you can see, this one's uh, different, you know, not only in color, but of course in the proportion of the windshield uh, having these extra uh, gun uh, missile turrets here, but uh, overall similar design. Uh, but uh, almost an exact replica of this little metal fella here, which I know you cannot see because it's black and we have a black surface. So, of course, at the end of the video, I will be taking close-ups 
of these and, uh, you know, scanning video. So, um, additionally, uh, you can put your Baroness figure inside here and she can uh, have her accompanying um, uh, assault rifle in there, uh, which I believe shoots a bubble gun. So, uh, I believe that she likes to get everyone very sticky and uncomfortable with bubble gum. And uh, you can then stand your Baroness figure up here. And she's actually also kind of heavy. It's, it's a good plastic. And none of this smacks of a toy review, doesn't it? And uh, she can fit in here. And then if she has little pegs here on the back. And uh, she or perhaps a friend of hers can stand on the back. I have to kind of push down. Work that leg onto, leg foot peg onto there. And then she can stand on the back riding. Uh, now it does not have little wheels. Oh no, I'm uh, I'm incorrect. It does have little wheels on the bottom, so it uh, sort of rolls uh, on there. And there you have your his tank Megatron. And uh, perhaps those of you that are familiar with Megatron know that uh, Megatron often turns into a tank. Not always, but most of the time. So I think it was a good matchup here uh, to have him turn into the his tank. So. Um, as I said, uh, I will have a close-up video for you of these toys. And thanks for watching, and I will have something new and exciting to show you uh, very uh, well, actually, uh, this afternoon, because Captain Mark, I know I'm tired of walking back and forth for things, uh, you know, on my thousand-foot yacht, the Sea Anomaly. I mean, I really shouldn't be walking at all. I should really just using my legs for lifting weights in the gym. You know, but to walk is yeah, it's a little bit uh, pedestrian, you know. So I had him bring me something where I can scoot around and I don't have to worry about walking so much. So I will be bringing that to you. And I would say, if I were going to review this toy, I would say it is great. If you like uh, Transformers and you like Megatron, uh, this is an excellent toy. It has a lot of playability. Seems very durable and rather simple to put together. And uh, the Megatron figure is quite large. So um, I would give it a, uh, you know, probably a 9 out of 10. Uh, I think uh, the only thing that could be done a little, of course, uh, better is if you had real treads. And actually, I have a Megatron that has real rubber treads. And that was to be, uh, well, I think it's the Megatron of all Megatrons. And I wasn't going to really purchase any more Megatrons after that. But then, of course, when they come up with something like this, it's a little bit difficult to resist for, you know, GL2. Uh, because I just got to see how things are constructed and put together. And I want to share them with you. Uh, the excitement uh, that one can feel opening a new box and seeing, my God, the engineering of this is just fantastic. So, I'll be getting back to you soon. Thanks for watching.